Well, today has not been a great start of a day. Uh, one, I had my alarm set, but I had the volume muted. So I was planning on studying for my math quiz today. Uh, well, it's actually Wednesday now, I realize, but still I would have used the extra time well. Um, hey, uh, so that was one annoying thing, and then I, uh, I forgot something happened that was annoying when I was taking my shower and stuff, I don't know, but then I also realized that I'm going to have so much homework because I completely forgot over Thanksgiving that I normally get the majority of the following weeks caring for words and Bible assignments done. So piled on to everything I normally do in a week, I have maybe, I've got to fit an additional like three hours, four hours worth of homework somewhere. And that is, I don't know. And I would, I would replace my practicing uh, piano and trumpet practice, but I already told someone that I was actually going to meet them in the practice room to work on our jazz arrangements. So, <sighs> and I don't remember anything from math, and. I know there was more, but yeah, I don't oh, have to make the video. Oh yeah, and my computer wasn't um, working originally. Thankfully, my dad was able to fix it, but that was also a setback. All right. I don't remember anything from... <laughs> All right. All right. David's making fun of me you for always saying that. No, I know, I know. But David always makes fun of me for saying that. I don't mind, though. Um, what's funny is in math, like, the terms we're using makes it sound so cool. Or, not cool, but just... Okay. Definition. The curl measures the infinitesimal circulation of F around the point. The divergence measures the infinitesimal flux of F away from a point, or out from a point. And then this is the conditions. If C is a simple, closed, piecewise smooth curve, orientated clockwise, which encloses a connected and simply connected region, R, where F has continuous first partials, then we can apply these things. And it's, it just, I find that really funny that there's this big if statement is like, hey, if all these conditions are met, then very specific conditions are met, then we can do this. And then like curl, divergence, flux, infinitesimal, uh, all rather funny terms. Jackpot. Reduced price. There's a one shelf that's got a lot of good treats that I have, and I just got two this is angel food cake, which should taste really good. And my chocolate milk. They're out of gallons again. Uh, I don't know if anywhere else consistently does have gallons, but a gallon is $3 and each of these is $2. So this is $8 of chocolate milk. Which adds up really quickly. Uh, I don't know if something I should do is better. All right, so funny story. Um, I went shopping and I didn't have my bags in my car because I took them surfing and I left them in my room. No, no, I brought stuff. They're the bags I used to bring stuff to Thanksgiving. And I left them in my room so I couldn't get groceries with them, but I already paid to not get a bag. So I saw, okay, I've got two things of angel food cake and a whole bunch of little things of milk. I think I could carry all of this. I forgot I also 
needed to carry my water bottle. But, uh, so I parked, got everything out, and I realized, in the dark, I actually parked in a spot you weren't supposed to, so I had to find a new parking spot. But, I started off carrying everything, and there was people that just parked behind me, so they were walking too. So I didn't want to be embarrassed in front of them, but I was starting to drop things, so I set my stuff down and pretended like I needed to check something on my phone while they walked by. And then what I ended up doing was putting the angel food cake in my pants, in my shorts, so I wouldn't have to carry it because I was crushing him in my arms and I was able to get my key card in my right hand and two uh, things of milk and the remaining four or five all held and uh, braced against my side with my arms on the other side and I was able to come back and now I'm eating the fruit of my labor I should get whipped cream next time Alright, it's been a while since I've had to stay up till right now 12, 23 in the morning. But I was able to get on my Bible, caring for words, uh, a bit of math, and now engineering all finished and I'm ready to go to bed. And I can't wait to shave. I don't know if tomorrow is November 29th or 30th. It's 30 days, it's right? 30th. Oh, okay. So I've got one more day. But it'll be nice. All right. I just got out of engineering. And I think first thing, I don't remember. I'm going to check when Goodwill opens. But I'm going to... Go, go see if they've got any white jackets that fit. And if not, I'll just wear my jacket and have it be tight on me. Uh, but yeah, I'll do that first thing this morning whenever they open. And then I'll come back. I'll upload some pictures and figure stuff out for our prototype uh, showcase and uh, maybe do some last minute tidying up on the Excel I caught a little little error I made and oh and then I'll maybe do some Theo but what I'm excited to do is try to figure out some simulations for my pull-up bar. And then I think that's my plan today. We will meet uh, Rachel, David, and I to figure out what we're going to say for our prototype. And that'll be it. Alright, I just tried everything on vest is good the jacket I ordered was too small but it's gonna work and I'm just gonna wear it and hold on to it I, I like it it's just tight then I got this vest and this vest I could will and this coat but I think I'm gonna try to return that coat hey you don't need a, you don't need to be in front of the camera if you don't Wait, I'm just gonna be right here dude okay and go I'm Rachel. I'm David. And I'm Zade. And this is our bathroom door lock, a lock with a twist. All right, here's the problem. You're going into the bathroom and you just did your business. And you touch this lock. Uh, you haven't washed your hands yet. And that thing's getting really grimy. In airports, they have these sensors to turn on the water, get on your soap and dry your hands. But even in airports, they re rely on this just 
little lock to lock the door. All right, so our goal is to restrict and reduce the amount of times you have to use your fingers and touch gross, dirty parts on the door lock. So what if, so we came up with three different what ifs. So what if you had a small personalized lock or what if you had something that you could use like your arm or shoulder to lock and unlock the door? And also what if you could use your foot to lock and unlock the door? Basically for this design, um, what it is is a little like rubber thing that's a little bit flexible enough to fit any sort of bathroom door lock so it could work for a door here or in an airport or anywhere, um, but it's also sturdy enough to withstand the force of like someone trying to open up the door. Our second idea was an attachment to an uh, already existing door lock like we have in our dorms that would incorporate you using your elbow, your outside of your arm or your shoulder to open it and unlock the door rather than having to use your fingers. All right, and our third idea was a foot pedal. So you'd use your foot and you'd um, take advantage of this rod in the middle and use leverage and push up a rod that would lock and unlock the door. So it's pretty simple. And so our three components, three main components of this design. Um, so we have our foot pedal right here with our pen mechanism. Uh, works just like a pen, kind of in, in the title. And then we have our um, spring right here on the bottom lower left corner. And that pushes the door open, so you don't have to pull it open with your hand. And then we also have our locking mechanism, so the rod just shoots up and attaches the door piece to the wall piece. And I messed around with motion studies a little bit, and this is what I was able to get uh, to demonstrate the like clicky pin mechanism that is fundamental to this design. It's a bit quirky. It likes to jump around a bit, which isn't the most accurate. All right, so uh, for our prototyping process, we first uh, sliced up our models and printed little pieces of each component to test tolerances. Uh, this was a key thing to do because it saved a lot of filament, and uh, we were able to make just little tweaks here and there that would have been more annoying to do later. Once we had everything tweaked, we were able to print one of each model and test to see if everything worked. And for the most part, it did, except for a couple problems we'll get into the next slide. Uh, but in order to work with those problems, we uh, taped, to taped pieces together, glued acrylic to 3D printed parts, and uh, rapid prototype before we got our final model, which we will also get in a later slide. So the main issue that we found at first was that there was not quite enough weight um, on this rod for us. There was like, a couple of issues with like having the filament be so light, um, the project just didn't quite work. So we decided to tape my cell phone to the foot pedal to put a little bit more mass on there so that it would return back to the position where you'd be able to put your foot on it comfortably. Um, that worked a little bit, but not. it wasn't ideal because we can't just have my phone taped on there all the time. The second solution that we used, um, just like as like a jerry rig kind of a deal, was my flywheel actually for my engine. We stuck it right on the top um, of the rod and it helped push a little bit of the mass down. Another issue was with our original design. Um, we didn't have any like taper there, so the rod needed to be perfectly positioned in order to lock the door. And so we changed that to put a little taper in there. And we also realized that you needed to close the door and open the door with your hand. And so we designed a product project to open the door with springs. All right, and then so this is our final design. So we got our foot pedal mechanism right here. And then we have a spring in the back, which you can't really see. And that just brings up the pedal so you can always be able to press it down. And then another modification we made was see this scrape piece right here. Uh, we kind of uh, made a big cut in it so you can see the whole pen mechanism work while it's in motion and see if we need to fix anything with that. And then we, we have a video of our, oh yeah, we also have the brass weight. We were able to move that down in the pen mechanism. And we have a video of it in action. I just love the same way. <laughs> um, in the future, 
true. Unfortunately, I believe that we should cut funding for this project. There is a better solution to this problem than a foot pedal. I think that having it actually automated, um, like other doors, would be much more realistic as far as like a good solution would go. I think that within the realm of this particular project, that was the solution that was like the best as far as like 3D printing things and not having electrical components. However, unfortunately, it just creates more problems than it really solves with, um, it only works for the doors in our particular bathroom, which we designed it for. All right, that was a good second take. All right, heading in to work on bearings and then volunteer at the Maker Hub. And I actually just got about done. Like a, I could not get, I was studying math for maybe an hour and I could not get any work done. I was super tired and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can take a nap. And I just took like such a good nap. And I just woke up and well, I won't do what I said I was going to. Alright, I just finished up my discussion post. And I'm actually going to read it out loud t to you guys. Because I wrote it and I thought it was pretty cool. I've had some other ones that I've had like kind of a cool discussion for. But pretty much this was a debate whether what hell was like. And whether it was a, the two sides are pretty much, uh, what is it? eternal conscious suffering or is everyone going to be saved in the end or what was your in-between ground so this is what I said uh, I'll actually go like this because I don't know you can see me hey guys I have been raised with the view that Claire defended in his podcast strictly backed up by the most famous Bible verse John three sixteen. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That has been the only side I've ever heard before, but this podcast really made me think uh, by what means was my view supported, or if it was, or if it actually wasn't, and just tradition, or I didn't know what the word was, uh, how you were raised or something. I don't know. I have no doubt about Jesus' power to save everyone, and based on Doke's quote, Jesus died for the sins of the whole world, and... All died with Adam, but all rise again with Christ. I see this as Jesus extending his hand. It is a matter of whether we make the conscious decision of taking it. Why else would the Bible advocate for Christians to spread the news and make disciples if it were all for nothing? I think yes. Because of our sin, we were eternally separated from Christ. Saying anything to lessen that fact is simply uh, is seemingly is to seemingly justify our actions, make them seem less bad, and primarily de uh, denying a fundamental truth behind Jesus' sacrifice. But is this eternal conscious punishment something that can be considered unjust or unloving? I don't think we have much to say on this part, for we are the ones in the wrong. As a child being punished in the heat in the moment, did you ever think your parent or guardian's punishment was just or well-deserved? Of course not. And now that you are sitting in your time out, your parent or Jesus doesn't just let you off the hook out of nowhere, leaving you unremorseful for your actions and thinking how you could change in the future. No. Your parent and Jesus reach out their hand and offer a second chance, so long as you apologize and realize your mistakes. I can hope that hell is not eternal, conscious punishment, and maybe it is even temporary. That is a whole another idea that uh, I haven't even considered, but I will get into now. But I believe that while Jesus has the power to save us, Scripture backs up the mindset that we must for, uh, first personally take his hand. And I really liked that argument, and I thought it was pretty solid. And now I'm going to go eat. And as usual, I start stuff out with, all right, and I'm not going to break that habit, because I think that's it's kind of funny. <laughs> Guess who gets to shave? I do. I want to just shave one half and see what it looks like. Ooh. 
shave this half, cut myself, shave this half, and not this half, and you can barely tell. Would you like another opinion if you give me that? Yeah, I love actually hearing this because I like. And then not following any. Yeah, and then, and then Tristan gets it makes mad feel at me, powerful. and I just feel like guilty. So hey, then, go like, against the man. So, like, Make bad decisions slowly, in your life. Like, well, get to slowly. You don't think you do. That was the hardest quiz yet. I I don't know. And then the next quiz, I'm gonna st study for it. Yeah, but I don't know how I'm gonna like understand the concepts. I'll just have to hope that the quiz, I mean the test at the end, um. Is like the quiz, so I can just apply the same logic I'm supposed to understand to the test. Today's been a kind of funky day. Uh, I after, uh, after math, I just came and took an hour-long nap, and then. Then went to personhood, and then I went back, uh, back to a room, did a little bit of homework, studied a bit for math, and then just laid in bed and just listened to music and stuff. Um, And now I'm walking the choir. I'm not running. Oh no, I just, today's a funky day. I don't know if it's just because I have a lack of motivation to do things or I don't have stuff I want to do. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll have fun maybe playing some stuff on piano though. I'll find out. Number five because you find them attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a very good answer. All right, the Jesus guy. The <laughs> 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 Jesus guy. <laughs> Sorry, you just not even to me. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which ones do I have left? <laughs> oh man, uh, so I was trying to. I was working on SolidWorks a bit, and then David and I were watching. It was side 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 man, side men's. I don't know, just hilarious videos for like the past two hours, hour and a half. That's been. <laughs> oh, it was good. My face hurts from laughing. I'm gonna go to bed now, and we have our All engineering right. presentation yeah. tomorrow. All right. All right. All right. Hello. Uh, I heard that this situation is not that unrelatable. Or and it's not overly yet. tragic. Um, you know, it's not like somebody says, like, oh. Too, uh, uh, it's not just a really hor- Oh yeah, a single a parent who's like bisexual and- yeah, A single bisexual parent raising, raising, raising five kids and trying- also single and bisexual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, just returned my suit from that I wasn't going to wear to the winter formal. And I got acetone and an empty paint bottle so I can degrease my bearings while listening to Interstellar. All right. All right. Hey. Oh man, stop it. Got the acetone container where we put it in. I used a toothbrush and that to get off the grease. And right now we have an order and look look how look how fast that is compared to a normal one. Here, a normal bearing. Um 
Okay, go off. Show, show the video the worst one. Yeah. This one's the... And that's better than the normal variant. And now compare that to our best one when... That's insane. I'm just gonna put one drop. Just try one drop, yeah. There you go. That's a drop. Here, wait, use that one as a control. So it's definitely not as good, but it seems... But it will last compared to... Should I just oil them all then? Uh, I don't know. Like, what if, what if we just did it, test it till the day of, and didn't oil it? I kind of want to try. I want to try putting them on. But, do you have your engine here? Yep. Let's let's do it. Maybe I just shouldn't have touched it because, well, I can regret, but I know I would have regretted not trying new bearings, but it's only hitting 450, or that's how much it hit when I did it before, and I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. I just don't know. <sighs> like a better okay. bow at some point. Uh, 15. I love yeah, this wild magic table okay. so much. <laughs> I just roll over through the next person. Do I have... Your... Alright, just got back from the math quiz and I didn't think I was going to pass them, but then the very first quiz, first because it was two ones, the very first one, I thought I actually had in the bag I <sighs> yeah I I was taking it and I'm like sweet I'm gonna not have to do this quiz and I got all excited and like there's only one that I'm not sure about but even if I get that one wrong I'll still have about 80 percent and I got two wrong that was one of them that the one I was thinking was one of them and the one, I mean, it was a good, it was a good thing I got it wrong because if I didn't have that question on the quiz this time and then I had that question on the second one, I definitely would have got it wrong because I never crossed my, like, he never really explained that part before. And then the second quiz, which is uh, true or false, um... I just pretty much guessed on and I only got one of the questions right but uh, what's annoying about true or false though is um, on the exam Monday we need to come up with our own justification for the answers and I definitely think I'm not gonna get the justification right but I'm fairly certain that when I take the exam, I think even if I get all the justification questions wrong, I'll still be happy with my grade and I won't, I'll choose not to take the math exam. Uh, even though if I took the math exam, it would improve my grade I think I'm happy with my grade and it would be kind of like just a fun thing to be able to say, yeah, I don't need to take the math exam. I am happy with my grade, but we'll find out. We'll see.
their heartbeat was to, to penetrate that area, and this, this uh, project was a way to do that. So what was the project? Well, it was a, again, a water system study and a vehicular bridge design. You might think, why those projects? Why, why did they choose this? Well, the reason being is because this community of about somewhere between five to 10,000 people, um, based on our team's evaluation, we estimated there was about 5,000 people. There's been higher estimates of up to 10,000, but our estimate came from literally going from village to village and just asking, how many people live in your village? So however that translated, we came up with about 5,000. Um, so about 5,000 to 10,000 people, uh, that number is actually more than that. Um, and all of them living in poverty, probably unlike most of you have experienced. It was unlike anything I've experienced up until that point. Um, similar to the project trip I got to go on with Ben, which was a year after this. Um, extremely difficult circumstances. These people had lived there for generation after generation. Extremely difficult land to farm. And water, water was a huge, huge need. Um, you can see this water source right here. That wasn't just um, for us to take a picture. That was a gentleman that was gathering water for his um, hut. So he was one of the local villagers there. Um, All right, I came from a uh, EMI meeting, which was just for fun. I thought it would be a cool thing to go to where it was uh, It was a cool missionary engineering related international group. Um, talked about some of the projects they went to and Yeah, it was it was cool. I uh, I I don't know if I would do it. And if you know me, that's actually like me saying I don't know I would do it rather than saying I that's not something I would do is like whoa. But I I, I don't know. Like I could see myself right after graduating college or maybe for a summer internship doing that. Huh. I don't know. Uh, sorry if I haven't been recording that many videos. Uh two weeks before finals week though this is when I'm actually getting like the front load of all my this this is probably the most filled week I'm not sure um I've just been studying for math today I'm going to bed early I've been studying for math and I tried I went back for maybe an hour and a half to try to work on my engine and now it's not running really at all. Yeah, it's spinning, but maybe one revolution a second. So that's a bit depressing. And then today's probably been um, emotionally speaking, probably the most up and down day or mostly down day. I've had this year, I'm not sure, missing, I guess, certain aspects of life before, before coming to college, uh, but going to bed now, going to hopefully get nine and a half hours of sleep if I fall asleep in eight minutes, I doubt that, so probably nine hours, hopefully, but Tomorrow we have Christmas decorations I helping out with for choir and that should be 
distracting. Well, we rolled this all up and then just got told, hey, we were given this, but that was actually the wrong one. Take it all down. So, here we go. <laughs> yes. Amazing. <laughs> Dude. As uh, long as you don't throw up on your side, it's fine. You're like, I throw up and it just hits the wall and it's just like, <laughs> It's like, like, oh yeah, I was working on force field technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we literally can't cross the other side. We have to sneak. I don't even know how to open the door. <laughs> no, you do. You, you just slide. Yeah, okay, you just slide. You're like, oh, no, you have a little bit of leeway. You'd yeah. be like, I just have a suction cup that I still. Okay, yeah, the bearings definitely were. The right thing to do. Yep, past 7 Eleven. <laughs> okay. Uh, I doubt I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know how sympathetic Neil's gonna be. Yeah! My guess is not? Not, my guess is not, but. I'm happy. Was, the, um, was it without the bearings? No, or, um, no. Before the change, was it identical to the original? Uh, you got that 7-Eleven time? Or? No, no. Oh, okay. No, it's because my original design wouldn't work at all. <laughs> That's the problem. Just cracked eight minutes. I don't even know what happened. But I already did one run with it, and it only... <laughs> it might just need it's literally just... Minutes. It's like chance. The molecules are aligned right. The this one is... getting dressed for the formal and I guess one of the things coming to college is I had never tied my own tie before and I just did it and I think it took a couple tries but I, I like the look of it I think that's the right way I don't know for sure but I want to keep it as is and now I'm going to get ready I don't know if I want to yeah I'll put something in my hair I'll go do that now alright I already dressed up i really like my outfit like a lot especially the jacket and even though it feels small and it is small i think it looks fine and i don't know how hot i'm gonna get but we'll find out but the grand reveal Ooh, yeah i like it just don't have the white shoes but everything else is sweet i'll try to try to get some videos from the winter formal dance but if I don't get any I, I mean I guess you can blame me but you really can't but we'll see I'll try to take my phone out sometimes probably if I get hot I need to get a video, David. His parents wouldn't believe it.
are going to. All right. All right. Hey guys. Uh, we're, it's uh, like 11.30 right now. And we're going to go play tag. Mafia and other games. Uh, in Edwards Holman, the place where I have calculus, which is a three-story building. Because we can have card access somewhere on the side door. Should be fun. That's insane. So we need like five, so 25, 25. So five, so we have 25 people, so probably five people are taggers, maybe six. Six? Six seems a bit much. Six is much. Totally going up to the third floor and jamming on the piano. <laughs> huh? Uh, I, free stack. He's practicing. <laughs> we have a... Just got back from playing Mafia freeze tag. It's two. It's too late It's two o'clock, and I think I'm still gonna go to church tomorrow. I'll be tired, but it's the right thing to do. Great in here. Do you have another? Good night. All right, I ended up <clears throat> turning up the alarm last night. I don't remember when, so I slept in to 11.15 and got my, like, nine hours of sleep. Feels good. So now I'm doing home church, eating my granola, and going to get some homework done. I have a dinner with uh, my engineering mentor, Scott, later today. And should be fun. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just went to the uh, dinner for two hours with Scott, and that was a lot of fun. We went to uh, Black Bear Diner, which was a nice little lodge place, and I had a bacon burger, which I hadn't had. Oh, it tasted really good. Um, and we talked about life and stuff and usual topics. But uh also talked about uh, having conversations with Neil, uh, which I'll be having tomorrow with him after math class, which is when I have my final. And... Yeah, now I'm working on my engine animation. Should, I think, edit this video tonight. And... Yeah, I think those are the two things I have to do.
All right, see you later. Amazing. Oh, that's why these are out of order. Okay, let's just close.